to show my updated makeup routine. I have changed my makeup routine from the last video that I've posted from the products, the prep, the prime, and I wanted to show you guys exactly how I do my makeup to achieve this look. I feel like it is giving a natural full beat. If you guys want to see what I do to get this look, just keep on watching. Going to moisturize my lips with some lip oil. This is a Summer Fridays lip oil in Pink Cloud. I am then going to go in and prep my skin. I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I have oily skin, so I find that this makes my makeup last for as long as possible, and my foundation doesn't settle into my fine lines or wrinkles. For foundation, I typically alternate between these three. For today, I'm going for a more full coverage look, so I'm going for Too Faced Do You, and I like to blend my foundation out with my fingers. I find that this leaves me without streaks, looking cakey or patchy and it gives me more of a seamless natural blend. To ensure everything is seamless, I like to go over with my beauty blender, and sometimes I still have some problem areas peeking out, so I go in with a little bit more coverage from my Merit Foundation Stick, and I just spot conceal. Going in with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer, this does not make my concealer crease. This settles into my lines, so when I ever use my concealer or powder, it just sits on top and doesn't crease and look gorgeous. I like to contour with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. I place this just a little bit above my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, and just right on my jawline for a more chiseled, defined look. I am a blushaholic, so I'm going in with Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and Happy, and I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender. And I like to take whatever is left over after I finish blending out my cheeks, put a little on my chin, on my nose, on my forehead, just to give a little bit of color to my face. Now I'm going in with concealer, so I'm going to go in with Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Concealer, and I'm going to put quite a bit under my eye just for a more full coverage look. Now I either blend this out with my Beauty Blender or Amazon Triangle Puff Pad. And once I blend one eye out, I like to go ahead and immediately set that with a Huda Beauty Loose Baking Powder in Cherry Blossom. This is the best powder on the market, in my opinion. I find that this is great for baking, and it just makes my under eye look seamless. Now, I love using the pink powder because my concealer is more on the yellow side, so the pink just cancels it out, makes my eye look super bright, and yet still somewhat natural. I'm going in with contour, so I'm going to use my Morphe Contour Palette and kind of mix all three colors together, and I'm just going to set my liquid contour. I'm going to apply that to the same areas that I've contoured, aka the hollows of my face. And then I'm going to go in and set my liquid blush. This is my favorite blush. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft pop blush in mellow mauve i believe and i'm just using a elf blush brush i'm going to take a little bit of concealer and just put that underneath my brow bone to lift and highlight my under eyes before i go in with brows Using my trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, I'm going to comb my brows out. Now, I have very thick and full brows, so I don't like to do too much. I just like to define the shape. So I typically draw a line underneath, 
then draw a line above and I like to accentu accentuate my arch just because my brows are a little bit on the shorter end and fill in any sparse areas. To ensure I don't look like my brows are in 2016, I blend them out with a spoolie to diffuse the product and any harsh lines. And I like to set my brows with the Got To Be Gel. This has been a game changer for me. I haven't found a brow gel that I love in the market and this keeps my brows laid for hours on end. Now for eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in with my contour palette. And I'm going to grab, I believe, debutante in the palette, and I'm going to apply this into my crease with a fluffy brush, more focusing on the outer edge of my eyes. I'm going to grab enemy on the same exact brush and I'm going to focus this, this specifically on the outer edge just to create a kind of smoky effect. Now I'm going to take my beauty blender, dab away any powder under my eyes and I'm going to grab the exact same brush and I'm just going to kind of taper the ends and whatever's left over on the brush I'm just going to swipe that underneath on my lash line to balance out my eyes. Then finishing off, I'm going in with Literati and I'm going to apply this to one thirds of my inner eyelids. This will highlight my eyes and just kind of balance it out. Now for eyeliner, I don't use anything specific. This is from the drugstore. This is the Essence 24 hour ink eyeliner. This is what I use on a daily. I find that it's reliable and it's very liquidy. I found so many brushes that are high end that are often dry and not great. So this is what I like to use. I don't have any special tips or tricks. I do have hooded eyes. So the thinner the line, I find that looks better on me. And I like to wing it out as much as possible to get that really feline cat eye. Now I'm going to go ahead with my Estee Lauder Stay in Place Powder Foundation and I'm just going to use my beauty blender to set any areas that I didn't set with powder. I am going in with mascara. This is my typical mascara routine whenever I'm wearing a full face. I like to use a very wet formula for the first mascara or the first layer. This just allow my lashes to be evenly coated before I go in with the second mascara. And the second mascara is what I like to use to define and volumize the lashes. So this is my favorite mascara on the market. I think you need to go get it right now. It's chef's kiss, so good. It lengthens, defines, gives volume. It doesn't matter when you're in the car or sitting on your vanity doing your makeup, your lashes using this will always look good. So I'm gonna apply this to my lashes, about two to three coats, and I'm also going to apply some on my lower lashes. I'm going to remove any lip oil that I have and I'm just going to go in with a nude lip liner to line my lips. To apply a little bit of dimension, I'm going to go in with a red brown smoky liner. This particular one is from Essence, I believe, and I'm going to apply it to the outer edges of my lips. And these are my two go-to lipsticks. I'm going in with Merit Millennial Pink, I believe. This is the most perfect nudie pink for me. And I like to top it off with any lip balm or gloss. Ooh, I also like to add a little bit of dimension. So I put a little bit of concealer in between my lips. Gives me a ombre look. And these are my favorite glosses on screen. And that is the final makeup. 
and voila this is the final look thank you guys so much for staying until the end of the video don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below if you want to see any specific videos comment let me know what your makeup routine is and i will see you guys in my next video bye Mine. Mm, watch them grow.